Welcome back. Now we're heading to the Huron Shores Conference. That's right. While the four-team league may be our smallest, it also boasts plenty of talent. As the For the second year in a row, half those squads reached the postseason. And while the standings saw a bit of a shakeup this season, a familiar group still finished on top. Down in Tawas, the Braves struggled to replace several key members of their 2011 playoff squad. Tawas went winless in league play this year, finishing 1-8 and eight overall. The lone bright spot came in week 7 when the Braves edged Pinconning 20-12. Tawas graduates another large senior class this year, but the team will return first-team all-league selection Daniel Howe, who displayed big playability and could be in line for a strong senior year. North on US 23, the Oscoda Owls took the field for the first time under head coach Dave Lavasser. Oscoda picked up three wins under its new head man, including a sweet victory in week five, topping Tawas 22-18 to win the war on the shore. Donovan Fauché ran all over the Braves as part of a stellar senior season on both sides of the ball. After narrowly missing the playoffs in 2011, the Alcona Tigers made sure they didn't fall short this year. While playing an eight-game schedule, the Tigers still won six to clinch their first playoff berth since 2000. Their reward was a trip to the UP to take on powerhouse Ishpeming in the Division 7 postseason. Alcona fought hard, but the Hematites were too much, advancing with a 40-12 win. QB Cody Franklin and Player of the Year finalist Nathan Fettis led the Tiger attack this season, combining for more than 2,100 yards and 19 scores on the ground. The good news for the Alcona faithful, they did that as juniors. The Tigers' only league loss this season came to Whittemore Prescott as the Cards extended their Huron Shores title streak to three years. Whittemore bulked up its non-conference schedule and still finished the year 6-3 and three to lock up a sixth straight trip to the playoffs. The Cards started and finished their postseason in Mancelona for the second year in a row. Whittemore couldn't overcome a 22-0 first quarter deficit and fell to the Ironmen 38-24. The Cards will lose a large senior class but return some key players next season, including their efficient QB Jens Jillings and this year's sophomore sensation Travis McDonald, who led Whittemore in rushing. Alcona fell just short of a Huron Shores title this year, but the Tigers have plenty to be proud of and a lot to look forward to next year. As you just heard, the Tigers are set to return their two leading rushers from this season, including Nathan Fettis, who broke Alcona's career rushing record during his junior season, a feat that helped him become another of our Player of the Year finalists. Touchdown. Football has just always been a special sport to me. Nathan Bottles! Nathan Bottles! Going up through middle school and just hear my brother's name every Friday night and just kind of wanted that to be me. Nathan Bottles! I've always think that I'm just like everybody else. I have to work just as hard and even even harder because people are looking at you more. I got him! We're coming inside, baby! I prefer offense, basically, so I can get the, so I can get the big runs. And uh, make people miss. I like to make them look stupid. I like to make them like miss. But trucking a guy never gets old. Every touchdown's a big accomplishment for me. Every yard's a big accomplishment for me. Last year during the offseason, I noticed I was starting to like put on some pounds. I had to bust my hump every day to uh, lose about 15 to 20 pounds. Every day was just a commitment I had to make. Now I just believe I'm more mature. I, I run harder, I'm faster, I'm stronger, and I just think that combines into a good football player. Football player. Our junior class now, which is going to be our senior class next year, is a very tough group. Uh, I've been growing up with them ever since Packer ball. They made me work hard in the offseason, maybe it pushed me. So it's going to be a fun year for next year. And now I'm joined by Nathan here on set, and as you just saw, he'll hit anything, so I'm going to go ahead and keep my distance. But Nathan, Jeff just mentioned you broke the school rushing record as a junior. You know, that's very rare, a very big accomplishment. Just talk to me about when you found out that you had actually broken the record, what went through your head, and what that kind of means to you. Um, it, it happened during Buena Vista week, and it was that, it was a crazy long, it was a crazy, like, uh, zigzag run throughout the field. And... Uh, I, I didn't know I did it, but my coach mentioned it to me to look at the numbers, and I did. And I just re I just recall in middle school when I looked at the when I looked at the leaderboards, and I've always wanted to break it ever since. So it meant a lot. 
Now you mentioned you've grown up wanting to play football, break records. You grew up in a football family. I know your brothers are here today. They both played at Alcona. What has that done to help you become a better football player? Uh, basically, it just I just I've always wanted to get my family name out there through Alcona schools, and my brothers have helped me through the off season, helped me get stronger, faster, and it's I appreciate it from them. Yeah, now, now that you own the record, do you kind of jab back and forth with them? I mean, they had their chance, but you were the one that got it. Yeah, my brother Kevin was a running back. My brother Ryan was a lineman, so okay. I bicker with Kevin all the time about it. He gets jealous, I think, sometimes. Now, as I mentioned, you know, this was just the finish of your junior season, so you still have one more year to go. You already have the record, so what's kind of left for you to do as an Alcona Tiger? Um, basically, all I can do is just keep working hard in the se uh, off season, get stronger, faster, more mature. Uh, learn the offense more and just get better uh, relationships with my teammates. Yeah, well, I mean, as you just heard, he's trying to get bigger, stronger, faster. So here on Shores Conference, look out. But now you've met two of our Player of the Year finalists. And coming up after the break, we'll sit down with our third and final finalist and take a look back at the year that was in the North Star League. <laughs> 